My parents didn't know the first time, so I was kind of hard-headed and, you know, get, went against their will. But uh, I kept it safe for a lot, about, about five months. And uh, that basketball season, that's where they saw it, at the back of my jersey. My mom was mad. She was real mad. Um, she thought she could, you know, can get took off, like, the next day. My dad, he just laughed about it. But um, my mom, like I said, she was pretty mad. I was 16 in high school. Um, my first tattoo is actually my biggest one. It's blessed one on my back going across. I was, you know, brought up in the church. My mom, praying mother. I felt like I was blessed to be where I was at, you know, to go to college and, you know, be in the NFL now. My second tattoo um, to bring the heat off my parents was my mother's name on my chest. My mom's my best friend. You know, I love her to death. Um, she's my biggest supporter, so I got her name. And after she saw that, she was like, okay, I like tattoos. Once I got that big one, I just wanted more. My next one was um, prayer hands on my side, the most hurtful one. I would never get a side tattoo again. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I was brought up in a church, so I just feel like um, I just had to put that one. I'm a big family man, so um, I got an ambigram. It says family. And it says forever the other way. You know, I have a state of California. I'm from California. You know, never forget where you come from. I have my city on me. 209, uh, it's four and a half hours from here, Stockton, California. Born and raised there. I go back there, you know, when I can. When I first heard the news that we're coming back, I almost shed a tear, you know, for the city first off. Um, 21 years, football team hasn't been here. And there's myself coming home. I just felt like it was big because my family, St. Louis, uh, my parents didn't come out to too many games. They come into the first one, that's traditional. But being back here, it's a 45 minute flight. I haven't got a tattoo in a long time. I got most of my tattoos, I was in college. And then my, uh, I think my most recent one was, uh, I got drafted, you know, third round, pick 65. Um, I felt like that was a big accomplishment for me. I have a, um, a Monopoly piece um, for my four friends. We used to play Monopoly a lot. Um, it brought, kind of brought us together. I still talk to those guys today. We still have the same group message. I don't, have, I don't have pointless tattoos at all. That's not me. I don't have like no fire coming up my hands or nothing like that. No disrespect, but I just feel like all my um, tattoos are fine for sure.